Yahweh. I'm gonna keep on praying to Yahweh. Keep on praying to Yahweh. No matter what people say. No matter what people, what people say. say. I'm gonna keep on praying to Yahweh. I'm gonna keep, keep on praying, praying, praying to Yahweh. Yahweh. No matter what people say. No matter, no matter what, people what people say. say. Hallelujah. Shalom. 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 Welcome Shalom. to Yahweh You Speak Television Show. We are here in Everson, Illinois, coming off the great Lyell of Yahweh's weekly holy conversation, congregation, the Tabai. We are here to bring forth another marvelous lesson Yah has put into my pay to bring into the air and to each, all of us, you know, which is on the air. It's a must hear and do, you know. All that is written from Genesis Revelation must be hear the word, receive it, believe it, put it to practice. So you, and you must understand, hallowed Yahweh. Today's lesson is, where do our confidence come from? From Yah. Yeah. Our confidence is in, in this book from Genesis to Revelation. That's Whatever right. is written, you receive it and believe it, you build as, as our sister Hadassah say. Yeah, I've seen it on the, on the show. See that confidence. And that's what it is. It builds yeah. your confidence. Uh -huh. Everything that is written. You must convict, con convict yourself and, and, and to, to believe it. You, you have to be persuaded of it. Right. No one else can do it for you. And, no, and, and this word is to persuade you. For mm -hmm. so you can convince yourself so you can, can you know, be convicted of doing what's right. Yes. Yeah, that's it. Holler, Yahweh. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go to Deuteronomy. As our Ross Strong said, the porter. We are the porter of our own self, our mind. We got to guard what we see, hear, yeah. and say. I said we must become holy and only speak kingdom principles. Anyone, you know, saying something that we 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 have to shine the light at them. No, it may seem like that to you, but we ought to speak the kingdom principles. No, it's a better day. Right. God's way. Yeah. Holler Yahweh. Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter 8. Deuteronomy chapter 8. Where do our confidence come, confidence come from? The double rings of this book. From Yah. Yeah. That's where it comes from. It's yeah. written in here. It's written. Everything you must believe, everything that's written. If not, you're not a believer. Right. You're definitely not a child of his. Then how can you be a servant if you're in disobedience? Mm -hmm. You had that self as you said, when you take it. He, before he take away, add on like he say flesh, he told me to say self. Yourself. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. That's it. It's itself. Self is our fleshly thoughts that, that's going against our Yahweh. That's what it is. Self. Self. Throughout this book, it shows some people, some people get puffed up in all religions. In and out of yes. Hebrews, all the other religions, yes. they get puffed up because the puppet master daddy, half the time, is the one that gives self and pride and puffed up. Okay. You must stay humble all the time. Yes. Yes. He's a psychotic child to hear. Mm -hmm. Got to uproot that ugly flesh from within out mm -hmm. and yes. fill it with these double rings into the new Ruach, the new man. Mm -hmm. Must hear some word every day. You must read for yourself. Yeah, a lot of pastors be giving up things and trying to get, get it, but it's, they, they ain't filled. They ain't, they ain't feeding the Ruach Amen. with the dog of rain. You got to hear it, hear more words than testimonies in the, in the temples. Yeah. And you must go and read for yourself. Yeah. Holler Yahweh. Deuteronomy chapter 8 and verse 18. You must put it to practice and live it. Because lip service is nothing. You become the best speaker and talk. Talk to their head. Man, you ain't practicing them, mean nothing. You know them by their fruit, as you should say. Holler Yahweh. Uproot that old, old self. Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 18, and they read. Deuteronomy chapter 8, and verse 18. But thou shalt remember Yahweh thy Elohim, for it is he that giveth thee power to give wealth that he may establish his covenant which he swear unto thy fathers as it is this day. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. This is it. 
Where do our comfort, confidence come from? From Yah. This is from. He said, but thou shall remember Yahweh thy Elohim. That's the first thing to remember as I brought some. You remember your first love, the Father and the Son. He had gotten away from it. Gotten away from it. It took thousand years the devil to do this deceptional thing that people are under today. Just got it from Genesis to Revelation. You're good. But thou shalt remember Yahweh that Elohim. For it is Yahweh that giveth thee Michelle to get wealth. Yes. That he, 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 Yahweh has established his bereavement, which he swore unto our idols, as it is this Yah. Yeah. As the Roman Christian might like say, you know, the name the name of he the same yesterday, day, forever. That was you sure? He's the same yesterday, today, and definitely forever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just listen and obey mm -hmm. what, what is written. Let's go to Joshua, Joshua, Yehoshua, chapter 10. Yehoshua, Joshua, Joshua, Yehoshua, chapter 10. Yehoshua, Joshua, chapter 10. And let's read verse 25. Yehoshua, chapter 10, and verse 25. And Yehoshua said unto them, Fear not, nor be dismayed. Be strong and of good courage. For thus shall Yahweh do to all your enemies against whom ye fight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And Yehoshua will mar unto them. Fear not. Fear not, Eric. Nor be dismayed of this thing that's going around now. That, you know, the devil and his end. Amen. Be coet and of total courage. For thus shall Yahweh do to all the devil's plots yeah, yeah. against whom you stand in the war, in the battle against. That's all we do. We stand on the God of rain. Fear not, Eric. It is already done. He's a defeated foe. He's just trying to get you off your enemy now, your faith. You must have faith to believe. Holler Yahweh. Strong faith. You got to be whole. You got to be sold out. 100 percent. You can go 100 plus, that's good. But at the minimum, 100 percent. That's Yahweh's minimum. 100. Holler Yahweh. Romans chapter 14. Romans chapter 14. Romans chapter 14. As, as, they, as, as the world has minimums of things, Yahweh's minimum is 100. So that's the best. That's the excellent. Yeah. Then you can go beyond that. He had you do more. That's good. But the minimum, minimum that you can uh, withdraw from Yahweh is 100. Thank you. Romans chapter 14. Romans chapter 14. Let's read verse 11. Romans chapter 14 and verse 11. For it is written, as I live, saith Yahweh, Every knee shall bow down, bow to me, and every tongue shall confess to Elohim. Yes, further. For it is written, as I cry of my Yahweh, for every knee shall bow to me, and every tongue shall confess Elohim. We bowing now, down right now, baby. Mm -hmm. We confessing right now. We right to be the king. Mm -hmm. But for those you say, ain't no son, you sure? <laughs> You gonna bow one way or the other. He told you, he, this is what it is. This is our confidence. We take it what is written. Yep. You either gonna bow down for that glorious crown, or you gonna bow down to be sent to your 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 badness or unbelief to the lake of fire. Your glory of your not even glory, your shame, because you didn't accept the glory, shame of damnation, the lake of fire. Yes, Eric, there's a lake of fire. But, you know, whether some of these teachers be teaching, it's a lake of fire. That's what they need to speak more to get some reverential fear of y'all. We don't want you to fear them, but you respecting that power he has. Yeah. That's all it's about, reverencing that power. Fear for that power, what he can do. He said, fear not what Adam can do you, but fear what he can do to your soul, which is leave you in eternal damnation, burning it up forever and ever. Mm -hmm. Romans. Chapter 15. Romans chapter 15. And let's read verse 4. This is for I told. God trying to get something to him. He don't need nothing from none of us. 
So don't get pride on saying, me thinking it, you better give it up. He's making having us do this work. It's an honor to be called and, right. and do this work. Yes. It's an honor to know his truth from Genesis to Revelation, to share it to the heirs. Mm -hmm. We must practice it there. Then your first try on your faith is with your family and friends. Because most of them profess they are Christian, but I can't hear. I can't see no fruit. You know, I can't see Christ like. <laughs> you like 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 the brother like uh Rod and now I'm talking about the brother on TV this morning. Like he said, say something to him or do something they don't like. You see that old evilness come out of them? That's how you know they ain't putting it to practice. Because they ain't trying to get it out. They just sitting in church. Yeah, it's easy to sit in any temple. Yeah. The testing of your faith when you walk out this door. That's when House of Time going to try to hit, hit you with the left. So when you walk out, see if you got to give you a gut shot. That's right. See if you're going to stand on, thus says Yahweh. Or are you weak? That's what most Roman prisoners got. So, they just so weak and man down. So weak. And in some years we are coming to know the truth just as weak. Sad. Amen. Romans chapter 15. What you don't, what confidence, what you don't believe? What is written? Your confidence is in these daughterings of y'all. Yes. Romans chapter 15 is here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a true promise. You should heard what he said. He's gonna perform the, the, the covenant he had made to our eyes. All the time. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Romans 15, verse 4, and it reads. Romans chapter 15 and verse 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. That we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. <laughs> that is key. Mm -hmm. For whatsoever things were written aforetime, as he said back then and now, see, for this time, mm -hmm. were, were written for our Yahweh, mm -hmm. that we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, that's Dabarin, this is where your confidence comes from, the scriptures, yeah, say it, might have hope. Yeah, we got hope and beyond oh, yeah. hope. That's right. As our Raw McCoy say, Emmy not to Emmy not. Yes. You would ask Raw, and I'm going to say, yeah. you won't know until you be tried. Yeah. Yes. And that's it. Until you practice it, being tried and practice the Dabba Ring. Mm -hmm. Our confidence. This is where you stand. Yahweh, you want to see if you're going to stand on that Dabba Ring? The devil wants to see if you're not going to stand. Mm -hmm. right. He said, he's defeated already. Yes. You feel the little. We mind it, you know, that self, that flesh man, you do it in him. You go, you got to say, you say, meditate on these things. Think right. of a script. Right. Think of what he had brought you from. Mm -hmm. Before he did it, before a time, That's before right. a time, he said he'd never leave you forsaken. That's right. Eric, as long as you don't never leave and forsake him. Amen. He longs to have mercy. But that's when he's taking his wing protection away from you slowly by, slowly, bit by bit. Mm -hmm. That's it. As I brought gave that lesson last night about the, the bird and the lamp to come go out sooner or later. It's, it's time no more. It's wrong with God. It's time no more. He's long to pray. And every time he's going to shut the door on you. Yeah. And you ain't going to be able to open it. Now is the time your portal it can be open. Yeah. Let your portal be open to Yahshua. In his great ship and his great daddy's name. Our name, which is the Father and the Son is Akai. Yeah. Yeshua, Yeshua, Isaiah chapter 41. God's trying to get something to you. Blessed life, this life, and eternal life. It's all about saving souls, y'all. That's it. Helping guide them, lead them, point them in the direction of Yeshua. We lift the book so he can be kabod. Mm -hmm. Wherever we go, we're going to tell him this greatness. Yeah, right. Wherever we go. Like your your hand, like fire wrapped up in my bone. You try, try to be silent, yeah. but but it's yeah. supposed to all that ugliness, yeah. badness, uh, which is coming down the hot dog, supposed to vex your ruach with that ruach. Oh Amen. no, I got to let them know the truth, cause they don't. You how you gonna know to do better if you don't know better? Yeah. You gotta be told. You got to be. You got to be told, and then yes. you take it upon yourself to continue on. That's how I do. The one, it's a high. For your damn won't be on our hands when judgment day come. We are we are, we are wiped clean from it. Mm -hmm. Yeshua, Yeshua, chapter forty one, mm -hmm. chapter forty one, Isaiah, Yeshua, chapter forty one. Let's read verse ten. 
Isaiah chapter 41 and verse 10. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy Elohim. Mm -hmm. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Hallelujah, y'all see how the new and the old just go hand in hand. You know, that's one book. That's it. He said, fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy Elohim. I will correct thee. Yea, I will assert thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the Y'all may have my Sadika. His Sadika. Because, yea, you, like some of these Hebrews, you know, they 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 not in the temple today. And, and you see them texting about their they daily lives. You can't do nothing within yourself. You should be here getting the education from the world through the Kadashi. And that's because you got them six days to go battle with the people that don't know of Yahweh. They get things done. You not coming in a similar way you're supposed to be. That's like I say, he has a yes when he taking his wing of protection slightly lightly from you. You got you ain't got the full full protection. Now you got, you know, you have burial insurance, car insurance, you want you got full covers. You want you have people have nice cars, full covers. Without the full covers, it ain't gonna cover everything. We got full covers. With Yahweh and Yeshua, fully covered. Because we are his yeah. servant and it's our car. Yes. So he's going to fully cover. We don't have to go through this mess with our family. Right. And all the other situations, all the secondary that were things of the world. Because we listen to our daddy. He already took care of right. You say it, you see that? He's with you. Yes. It's all that. He wants you to know. Yeah. That's where our confidence comes from. Yes. In, this, yes. in this book. You don't open it, how you gonna know? Right. You're gonna be weak down to the devil and kick you around. Skip down to verse 13. Verse 13. For I, Yahweh, thy Elohim, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. See, he says, he, he's redundant, he repeats, he wants you to get it. He wants you to have this ass. For I, Yahweh, thy Elohim, will hold. We hold thy young hand a mind to thee. Fear not, I will absolve thee. He lets he wants wants you to know, wants you to get it. Mm -hmm. There's nothing on here, you know, that, that this was all written before we was created. Mm -hmm. All this thing for the fall of you know Kawa and 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 Adar being disobedient. All this is is that yeah, the devil is part of his world, but y'all rules over that punk. So and we rule over. He gave us power, Michelle, over the great over all yeah. serpent and scorpion. That's the wicked one. Those who don't know him, he ain't nothing but a bad thing written out there. Is this the little pump that had the world terrorized? You know, that's how I hear it. This pump, when you come to know Yahweh, you say, This chump? Amen. They were deceived off his words, which is this. They didn't have the confidence to keep the confidence that was given to them. We are. Yeah, that's we right. have learned from our ancestors oh, yeah. to be better and stronger and wiser to help right. the next. That's what every yeah. raw that came before us and yeah. you know, brother or sister, they're sleeping for the resurrection. We build it on that. They build on their shoes found that. We're supposed to be strong and wise yeah. for the next generation to bring up. All praises to Abba Yara for yeah. those that came before us from the beginning to the end. Amen. Let's go to Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 2. Ephesians chapter 2. This is for the old word, Aleph, y'all. This is all, as, as Messenger Daniel said, David would say, for those who are all that we want to become of his will, it's for him. Not, not just his will. You know, oh Israel, I'm sorry. Well, you're not, what you have not read. That, that is, it is for all nations. To come to the mount. Ephesians chapter 2. Ephesians chapter 2. Let's read verses 1 to 3. Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 1. And you have he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins. Yes. And, and we have he quickened who were dead to. And, and trespass against 
out of y'all with our hot eyes, not knowing. That we already had us, so he wasn't trying to do nothing. Once you come to know you out, he wants you back. He wants you to go to Lake of Fire with him. He wants you to diss Abba Yahweh like he dissed him. Yep. It ain't happening, punk. Continue. Verse 2. Where in time past, ye walked according to the course of this world, according to the priests of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. Ooh. When time passed, we walked according to the course of this age, according to the high Nazi, see of the high Michelle of the air of the Ruach, the devil, mm -hmm. that now working in the high band of disobedience, those who ain't obeying Yahweh. Mm -hmm. That's it, the, the children of disobedience. His, that's what Yeshua is, our big brother said, you don't, you, you are your daddy the devil. You ain't serving Yahweh, you're serving the devil, bottom line. Ain't no gray area. No. Ain't no purgatory. This level of lake of fire. You ain't so hot. This one, you chilling oh, still like you living. And like you living life, but you just in this setting. Lie your daddy the devil. Deception to you. Open this book and read it. You'll see it don't exist. It's in the power of your imagination. It exists in you. Contain. Verse 3, among who also we all had our conversation in times past in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. Yeah. Among who we, we were, we, we, are, we were of that oh, yeah. past, the oh, yeah. bad conversation, just talking about the dang times and past. In the lust of ourselves, fulfilling the desire of ourselves, and, and, and of our mind, were by nature the high band of breath, even as others. We were disrespected and y'all didn't know it. We were deceived and all that. Yes, it's over. It's over. Now that we had come, he had got our attention, as he did Moshe with the burning bush. Until he gets your attention, he can't talk to you. But he talks to you through people. That's trying to get your attention. All right. As you see, billboard, this you might be on phone. This, mm -hmm. it's it's just out there now. Right. He's trying to get your attention. Yeah. But you ain't you ain't you ain't bowing down, mm -hmm. humbling yourself, surrendering to that that thing. It all takes these these whole earthly uh, ugly stuff phenomena for to get your attention. But then. As the oink oink pig, once it's all passing on, you're going back to the mud. Doing it, it's real. Going back, some gonna change, but the rest will go right back. Thinking they all good, calling this under that Roman Christian doctrine. Majority of the United States, that's what they believe in. You know, but I ain't saying nobody do no prayer, saying all of them talking to you. Oh, it's gonna get words right. You speak it like your daddy the devil. As you sure have rebuked you, we rebuked you. Right. We done spoke out said the temple of right. Last Lael and Yahweh and Yeshua temple and many other temples around the air. Yeah. It is over. Yeah. Devil ain't got nothing. That's Amen. what it's called. Kingdom principles. Amen. Not agreeing with the devil. Yeah. Oh, it's going to get worse. We got to contain it. We got to put the people in the house and agree with all that. Mm -hmm. That's the fear of the devil. He the one. Puts fear on y'all. Have no fear. We know we as I Ross Shalom said, we use coke and wisdom not to know be around people and do that. You know that that didn't in the factors. But we still protect it. How are y'all ways? Yes, sir, yeah. Isaiah chapter 9. Yes, sir, yeah. Isaiah chapter 9. But we ain't foolish, we use the coke man wisdom, knowledge and understanding gives us. We know it's called prevention. We know how to prevent and avoid disaster. We say flee from it. Yeah. We ain't scared, but we using our wisdom. Hey, right. that's, we shouldn't be over here. Mm -hmm. Yes, y'all, yeah, yeah, Isaiah chapter 9. Let's read verse 2. Isaiah chapter 9, verse 2. The people that walked in darkness have seen a great light. Mm -hmm. They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death, upon them had the light shine. Hallelujah. Yes. That's it. That's what that what we were. We are this. 
that I am that walk in darkness have seen a great oil. Mm -hmm. That they that dwell in the land of the shadow of Margaret, upon them had the oil shine. Uh -huh. He was dead. <laughs> we was walking living dead. Yeah. We was walking living dead people. Yeah. But that dead, he, I guess, as he, that light knocked Saul off that hood. That light shined upon us. Yeah. And we like, what is this? Yeah. You know? And then, like I said, then we want, it's all it took was one, one look. And we have a song in the Just one look. We just looked at these dog rings on the yard, had one good look, the light would shine. Right. And then our spiritual eyes and ears was open. Mm -hmm. We saw the brightness. God wants everyone to come out of the darkness into his marvelous oil. Yeah. But you must be a free, willing agent. He ain't make no clones, no robots to serve. Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians. This is wonderful life, y'all. Yes, like it say, yes. you, you just got to stand against mm -hmm. yourself yeah. and the devil yeah. and be convinced, yeah. right. you know, with this confidence head. Mm -hmm. You know, you must convince yourself so you can convict yourself. Mm -hmm. Only you can do that. Right. You know, only you can open that portal to con yes. be con con convinced of the double ring where your confidence comes from. Then convict yourself. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Amen. Must. That's the medicine that Amen. the physician Amen. wants you to know. The physician, a physician. Yes. Yes. You know, there's some people having faith to be here naturally. Yeah, it can happen, but there's the time he has to say, use coke, my wisdom. Right. He sent you to his, his, his creation of physician, That's man, right. so you can get some medicine right. and you get the, you know, the faith, the confidence. Right. And he, God is doing the healing anyway yeah. with the medicine. Mm -hmm. He created all these herbs. Mm -hmm. He just don't want you to be dependent on it because it's not our body not made, not these medicines they make now, but the natural herbs is from, from the ground. Yeah, you know, the fatness of the land is what's grown. Yeah, that can sustain, he got that. But he sent you that. Don't be foolish. I remember that, that guy, Steve Jobs, job, that one of the smartest men on Apple. He was believing in whatever spirituality he was in. Till it got too late, they wanted them to go to the doctor and all, then it was too late. Cause he, he you know, he believed which that was deception of the devil. Mm -hmm. Cause Yah was the non superior he gave you wisdom to go to the, he, his, his man-made position. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yahweh. Mm -hmm. Second, Second Corinthians chapter two, chapter two, verse 11, yeah. 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. Lest Satan get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his device. Mm -hmm. Why? Because we got our confidence yeah. in our yard when we read the dark, dark rain. That's why we can't do nothing to it. We, like I said, we know the wiles of the devil and ways of our God. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. Opening up and having this confidence and believing what our hour has left for us. Our big brother came down in the flesh mm -hmm. to show us and had his. He was always there in the old era. He was in spirit then. Amen. He was always there. Oh. The, the, the Ruach of the didn't come on Pentecost. Mm -hmm. Your lying teachers. Straight up. Your dad, your, your daddy there want the world to see like he just came in. You done read the book. You said it was always back there. And they were baptized when they went under the Red Sea. Yeah. Come on now, it's in the new. Mm -hmm. When they was when they was they, they, they knew what it written, they was living it out. What were they preferring back to the old? Right. So all you like like that brother, he had a good day. We get some good from everybody, that brother. This morning said something he tried to go on yo, then he had to leave it alone. He was sister y'all kid caught that, because he would have kept that and he would have to keep coming up with some made up lie he had to do to come out yo didn't have full of faith. That's a lie. Right. He had it full. Right. You must have faith to believe. Right. So he had to leave it alone. That was the old we did too. Ain't nothing changed. Same long statue commandments in the new, yeah. 
Praise to our Abba Yahweh for revelation now. Bring it to you. As I, I, as I brought, Solomon brought up the attention to Sons of Thunder. I saw one sister. I'm so happy on Facebook. She took a picture of e Israel having you no know, celebrating the feast day. And she had Sons of Thunder. See, that's the confidence y'all want us to be known. We are sons and daughters of thunder. We bring in the thunder with the fire, baby. Yes, it's, yes. Like, it's like I say, we, we got our, our physician, uh, the, the, the physician Yeshua gave us this sword, which is our physician, and cut down to the marrow bone and, 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 and rule out to get it out. Cut through surgery to get that old man out, yes. self out, and put in and implant these, this confident dog of reins in ourselves and you. All praise to our Abba Yahweh. Daniel, Daniel chapter 2. Daniel chapter 2. It's a wonderful world, y'all. Wonderful work. It's so lovely. You know, it's, 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 it's great to say and sad to say we're here on this Sabbath day. As, you know, this virus going around, got people locked up in their crib. <laughs> this is how the Sabbath book is gone, supposed to be and going to be. There ain't exactly. no shopping, no nothing. It's yes, yes, at the temple. Yes, yes. It's so yes. peaceful. Speaking yes. yes. The devil yes. got jobs there, Brian. Right? I told our sister, we can't come, come out, we can't go to the Yes, church. yes, you can. <laughs> the sick ones stay at home. <laughs> but the healthy ones come and shock at y'all. Yes. Oh, praise oh, God. This is the this how the Sabbath supposed to be. Yes, yes. You can go around anywhere in the store. Hey, you know, yeah. there, ain't, there ain't no store yeah. today, but going around or to and fro, walking and all that, so peaceful. Yes, it is. And get to the temple. Yeah, the road yeah. is just open. Right. Hallelujah, this is how it's yes. supposed to be. Yes. Yes. It's supposed to be in the temple. Yes. You ain't supposed to be shopping and doing nothing. You're right. supposed to be having right. peaceful. Right. Peaceful. Yeah. And enjoying relaxing after them yes. six. Yams he gave you the hustle and buffalo right. dealing with the world. We deal with we not a handle. It's nothing. We, just, I, we love it. Mm -hmm. you no know, loving it. Dan Daniel chapter two. Daniel chapter two is yes. so peaceful. Yes. That's how it's supposed to be on the set. Yes. Daniel chapter two. Let's read verse twenty-two. Daniel chapter 2 and verse 22. He revealeth the deep and secret things. He knoweth what is in the darkness, mm -hmm. and the light dwelleth with him. That's right. Mm -hmm. You think you make you you can't even fool the true person that's serving y'all. He reveals that no, that's called the servant. Mm -hmm. You think you be coming around temples and hearing people that's uh, okay. that's holy connected up to y'all. This is what he said. He revealed the deep and secret thing. He got what is in the darkness, and our earth dwelleth with him. Yeah. It dwelleth with us, because we are him. Mm -hmm. You don't want to read every mind, but he that you have discern and answer. Right. You say two words to the Ruach. Ruach bless you. No, I don't with that lie. Lie, keep lying to yourself. Amen. Self, that's what it is. Keep deceiving yourself as the devil wants you to do. His biggest deception is that he, he wants the world to think he don't exist. Mm -hmm. That's his greatest cover up. We got to talk about the punk letting right? the people know, but he's nothing to it. But y'all wants you to know the, the toad and the wall. He got he got to let you know for you can as as our uh, Ramakar said, you can make a righteous conscious decision. That's it. Yachanan, John. Yachanan, John chapter 12. Yachanan, John chapter 12. This is it. This is our confidence. He wants you to get it there. Mm -hmm. He's bringing it out. He wants you to open it up. You have confidence then. You know, it's a process because you got to get that old self out. And yeah. the devil's still like that rock. You know what I'm saying? The man, the man is red, he is one and white. Yeah, like that, so let's say two voices, baby. You know, yeah, I'm talking to you, the devil. You know, he he he, he talked to you on the slide like he don't want you to know he's there, but y'all wants you to hear his boy. He said, let it roll like the, the line of your hooter. Mm -hmm. He said, blow that show for a lie and spend night. 
It's about saving souls. Yes. That, that's the thunder. That's the thunder. From the thunder of our father. You pray, hey, be sure to come back, bring that thunder. Cutting it all up. He like to say, come to shake it up. Put family and members against family members is rip. Shake it up. For who last year at, at, as Moses came down with the mount. Who's on our side? Yeah. And as, as your host said, as for me and my crib, <laughs> we should serve Yahweh. Yahweh. And that's what he's doing. He's breaking the cribs. He's going in the end of everybody's crib. Yeah. Who on whose side it is? We're going to put you against it. For us to stand and bring that oil to him. It's about saving souls. Hallelujah. Yaka 9, chapter 12. Yaka 9, we the example. We the church that most people are going to say, because they ain't going to. Go in, because they looking at the Roman Christian believer. Yeah. Going in and then so they walk out doing the same thing they doing. They like, I ain't I've got to go there. They doing just what I'm doing. Yes. Fornication, stealing, lying, everything. Yeah. Killing, everything. Yeah. And call yourself a Christian. Yeah. Shame on them. That's what it's about. Shame. But be shameful, you won't do it no more. Right. Not to bring shame to the, the condemn like the devil do, he brings you shame and condemn you, for you could be broken. Y'all want to shame you, for you could be brought up. Yes. How are y'all way? Yaka 9, chapter 12, verse 46, and then read it. chapter 12, and verse 46. I am come a light into the world. That whosoever believeth on me should not abide in darkness. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. I am come at all into the high age. That whosoever believeth, whosoever, ye pro Israel, as messenger down there and say, whosoever believe it on that sure should not abide in darkness. You can't. You can't. Because this rule is going to rule. Once you keep coming, I had to go through the process. I was coming to the temple, but I learned then. Now in your temple and many other temples, it's, 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 it's about straight love. They ain't, I heard about Sunday, the other church. Um, they were like, where you been? I, what did it? What did it? When I came here and I was giving the testimony, they don't ask you the question. They just show you love. Because they know the process we had to go through. Right. We had to stand and I knew I couldn't change myself. Right. And I remember, when I do this, when I do that, I'm going to come to church. Now nah, you would never make it. Right. So, like as well, you know what I'm saying? And the scripture there, Yeshua came for the sick. Mm -hmm. We all sick, and we ain't got Yahshua. As he made us whole to bring the sick in to him. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's it. You you the doctors can't hang around if you no. it's, it's really truly sick and yeah, it, it got to flee. Yes, right. yeah. yeah. And like you say, he bring the deep, deep thing. He bring that dark, that darkness. It's lighted everywhere. People think they know doing stuff in the dark, but he knows and hears everything, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 5. Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 5. Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 5. And that's who we are. We Hebrews, we Hebrews, Arab, yeah. the true oh, yeah. Hebrews, the Israel lights. Yes, we are. Must be coming to light as Ron McCarthy and that brother know. He said, I'm even really like this. My eyeballs cold straight up. So what you think? I ain't going to come home and yeah, sitting on his foot. Y'all sent me here to sit on the Ron McCarthy and sit on his foot. He told me here. He was cold. He said, no, you're not. You, you, you hear it, you ain't no light. Because your light must shine. That's when you're the light. When you're obeying and doing what it is, your light should shine. Oh, nice. That's when you're bringing light to the world. Yeah, yeah. Holla, Yahweh. Yeah. Hebrews chapter 5, Hebrews chapter 5, verse 14. Hebrews chapter 5. Wow, this is something. We're just talking about strong, go ahead and meet my brother. I'm saying, wow. Mm -hmm. That's how you know connected when your brother says that you are you had tell you things ahead of time, not knowing you can wrote this down. And had these lessons going on for weeks, months, right. scripts. Yeah. And he write them down as he tell you. And you don't know what they are. Praise the mighty God. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Hebrews yes. chapter 5 and verse 14. But strong meat belongeth to them that are of full age. Even those who by reason of use have their senses ex exercised 
to discern both good and evil. Hallelujah. We were just talking about discernment and all that. And coag meat belongs to them that are of full age. So you must surrender. Mm -hmm. Humble yourself and holy surrender and holy let the rule out rule. As we just said, 100, that's y'all's minimum. For a even though by, who's by reading of, of use, that's what we're talking about. You practice it. Right. You can say with your mouth all you want. Yeah. You can stand up and give good exhortations and all that. In and outside them. But are you practicing what you preach? Practice what you preach. You <laughs> got to. Amen. I saw a young girl giving her a lesson and she said, Are you practicing what you preach? And that's what it is. Yeah. Each time you say this exhortation, there's these applications, it's supposed to change. Mm -hmm. Every time, I mean, when I was going through it, each time Ron McCall was saying, I never be the same, I was taking it in, I knew. Uh, yeah. I got better from the last yes, time. Yes, hallelujah. And keep it moving yes, forward. Yes, I have. Right. Each time I came yeah. up into the Bible yes, of Yahweh, Yahweh's yes, Spirit, I, I was never the same. Yeah, and I walked right. out there. Yeah. I was practicing it, like you yeah. say, about who, by reason of use, you got to practice and have that sense of exercise. Because when practice is exercise, like that, you don't use your muscle, it gets weak, right? Amen. Mm -hmm. You don't use the, 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 the exercise your mind or the dollar ring, right. it gets weak. Yep. And that's when self and the devil come, come in. Exercise, discern both tobe and raw. That's what y'all want to on teach called raw and Adam. He the told them the tobe and the raw in his time. Mm -hmm. But the old bully had to come and but in, because he wanted to teach them his broadness. But that's what it is. How do y'all wait? James Yacobbe, James Yacobbe, James Yacobbe, chapter 3. James Yacobbe, chapter 3. James Yacobbe, chapter 3. Let's read verse 14. James, chapter 3, and verse 14. But if ye have bitter envying Whoa. and strife, we just talking this. Mm -hmm. But if ye have bitter envying and strife in your hearts, <coughs> glory not and lie not against the truth. Huh? Mm -hmm. But if you have bitter envying and, and strife in your flesh, cabold not and lie not against the high end. Yeah, because you're lying when you talking about you was supposed to be this, you're lying, he tell you. Don't, don't vex the Ruach. He tell you, you up there talking all this stuff out your mouth, but you're lying. Say, nah, nah, I'm just not aiming. He's talking to me, it's, 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 it's not confident. You see this and speak it and you ain't doing it. Right. You lying against the Ruach cock it out. Where they, you know, like they say, if you don't get it now, like Ram, uh, you know what I'm saying? There's no forgiveness of, of doing the Ruach because they don't want to stay with it. They ain't going to want to repent. But if you have bitter envy and strife in your own self, Kabul not. Kabul not about your exhortation or whatever. I know it. Uh, you say, Kabul not. And lie not against the high end. Because you call you call me a liar. He tell you what it is, the fruits of it, and you ain't putting it practice, as we just said. Putting it to use. Yeah. You're lying to yourself and deceived by the devil from your flesh. Yourself. That's what it is. Flesh is. You are had you go. I don't think we are y'all. He has you to add on to edification of adding on from what it he had with a Ruar cook me said saying flesh, self. Sometimes he had to say flesh in his proper proper sentencing, but it's self. Self and look around the world. Me, 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 self, self. No one people want to park here, don't want to block traffic, what they want to be self. I want to just jump out and run in this store. Skip what everybody else. Self. Selfish. Yeah. That's that that is that is envying yourself. Mm -hmm. Covetousness. Yes. Got to come out. Holler Yahweh. Mm -hmm. Revelations chapter three. Once you get it, Eric, now is the time. Now is to open up your port at the practice. And, and, and some of them to think and you can be on your deathbed or you can open like you say, it's been talking from wrong kind of wrong something. You may not be able to speak. Mm. And then now is the time you say, come while you have your co -act. You know, you have heard, come while your strength is with you. 
Well, he can better use you. He can hear you. Now, he have mercy who he want now. Mm -hmm. But we ain't taking a chance. We got our confidence in this book. Right. He left his instructional book. For now, we have opened our port to receive it. Holler Yahweh. Mm -hmm. Revelation chapter 3. Let's read verse 12. Revelation chapter 3 and verse 12. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my Elohim. And he shall go no more out. And I will write upon him the name of my Elohim and the name of the city of my Elohim, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from Hallelujah. my Elohim. And I will write upon him my new name. Hallelujah. Him that overcome will I make a pillar in the temple. We are pillars in this temple and in the area. We are pillars and, and, and now. Like, like when I first came, it was four pillars in this temple, y'all are sure temple. Rob, Rob Makai, Rob Shalom, Akat, so, so the Rock, Hazar, and Brother Gabe. They was the four pillars when I started coming. They was here. Yeah, they was faithfully here. Pillars. And that's where y'all want us to be a pillar and the confidence of these Darba Ring. We are pillars now. Though that is here and coming and come faithful yoke fellas together. And the many others around the area. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my Elohim. And he shall go no more out, and I will write upon him the shem of my Elohim, and the high shem of the city of my Elohim, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down, Roman Christian, coming down, mm -hmm. coming down out of Shemai from my Elohim, and I will write upon my new shem. It's written upon us now. We are kingdom citizens right now. He has written his new name upon our border and our pay. We are kingdom citizens right now. We proclaim it now that we are pilgrims, strangers in this era. We're just going through. Hallelujah, but Yahweh. It's what you better become, Eric. A stranger and pilgrim is not. Because, hey, like said, the popular belief song, they you ain't a son and daughter right now. That's on there. We got the confidence in knowing we are sons and daughters right now. Amen. How are you going to become that when you're dead? It is written. The dead know nothing no more. How are you going to be really dying? That's the case. I'll be out there like, as I rub because the foot loose and fancy free. And then I know I died, then I'm going to become a son and daughter. Come on now. Holler Yahweh. That's as dumb as you can be dead. <laughs> Revelation, you know what I'm saying? Revelation chapter 3, and let's skip down to verse 20. Revelations chapter 3 and verse 20. Behold, Ooh, this is it. Behold, mm -hmm. I stand at the door and mm -hmm. knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him and will sup with him. And he with me. Hallelujah. He said, Behold. I stand at the door and I knock. If any out there on Shema, my boy, and open the door, I will come in to him and we'll suck with him. And with him, he he and he with me. That's what it is. The put up your mind. He's knocking. You open up. Let him in. He's going to feed you good and you're going to eat good with him. Double rain with your confidence. Holler Yahweh. Ephesians chapter 5. He wants to feed you good. So you can eat this 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 fruitful darber rings and live it, practice it. And have confidence no matter yeah. what's going on right. in your life in this era. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yahweh. Mm -hmm. Ephesians chapter 5. Confidence that, like you said, we are more than overcoming. He gave upgraded before you should right. take anything. He added like Russell, Daniel there. He multiplied. He ain't saying you are more than overcome. Yeah. Holler Yahweh. Yahweh. Ephesians chapter 5, let's read verse 8. Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 8. For we were sometimes darkness, but now are ye light in Yahweh. Walk as children of light. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's right. For you were sometimes dark, but now 
but now you are all in your walk as a high band of oil. And that's what it is. We walk that walk, talk that talk, because right. we, we got confidence in the dark of rain. Yeah. We don't have to say a word. They can see that oil was put, the oil was put back on them when the sugar cane took it back by force from the devil and placed it back on them. Those, you get this power when you become obedient right. to his law, statute, and right. command, right. reverencing and respecting them. That's when you get the power. You got to come mm -hmm. obedience. Mm -hmm. That's when you get it. And we both to walk at his Zaka. Mm -hmm. How the world gonna know the difference between it? He say you set the thing between clean and unclean, holy and unholy. Right. They don't see you living this word, this this this, this word which is our come from Genesis to Revelation. They 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 gonna try. The devil gonna try with yourself. Gonna try to ah, have people all day. Ain't hey, that God you? And that's when you become a hypocrite. <laughs> when you, like, you professing out your mouth that you are all this, and, the, and you ain't got that, that rotten, stinky fruit instead of the fruitful fruit, you a hypocrite. How do I? How do Yahweh? Colossians. Colossians chapter 1. Colossians chapter 1. Colossians chapter 1. Colossians chapter 1. God's just trying to get his goodness and glory back upon you. That's all. That's all. So that you can go out and lift him up and, and, and point people in the direction to the way. Colossians chapter 1. Let's read verse 21. Colossians chapter 1 and verse 21. And you that were sometime alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked works, yet now had he reconciled. Hallelujah. It's just, woo, it's book is so good for Jesus to Revelation. Yeah. And he just had you sit down, you sit at your hour, y'all were feeding that Ruach, just had you write down what he had put it and had you gather for, I don't know how long, scriptures, and you don't remember, you just write it down, but then it's all good because it's from Yah. And it's so well with this lesson. He gave the title lesson. Where did your confidence come from? From y'all. Yes. Check this out. And you, that were sometimes alienated and enemies in your pay by the high brush deed, yet now have been reconciled. Yep. You were alienated. You were enemy of Baba Yah. If you ain't, you don't know him, you were, you were alienated, alienated from him. You ain't, you ain't got the full blessing. He had mercy and, and grace on what he want. That's what you are. But we've been reconciled by the blood of Yahshua. Hallelujah. We've been repotted. Then, praise the mighty God. Uh, mm -hmm. Matthiah chapter 15. Matthew chapter 15. Matthiah, Matthew chapter 15. Matthiah, Matthew chapter 15. Just trying to get something to you all. You know, like you like say, you must be. Convince yourself, be convicted of yourself. Yeah. Things that's against Abba Yahweh, which is yourself. Devil mm -hmm. ain't got nothing, can't do nothing unless yourself allow him in. Yeah. Matthias chapter 15, verses 19 and 20. Matthew chapter 15 and verse 19. Ooh. For out of the heart proceed evil thoughts, mm -hmm. murders, mm -hmm. adulteries, fornication, thefts, oh. false witness, blasphemies. Mm -hmm. Verse 20. These are the things which defile a man. Mm -hmm. But to eat with unwashing hands defile not a man. Mm -hmm. For out of the mind proceed raw thoughts, murders, adulteries, fornication, thefts. False wisdom, blasphemy. These are the things which defile and I die. But to eat with unwashing hands defiles not I die. You got some religious max. They go on things like you say, did that, you know, that they figured that that you're supposed to be doing. That that ain't gonna defile you. What comes out of your mind and you proceed to do it, that's what it is. Just, you, and like I say the blasphemy. You blasting me in the Ruach HaKadah. You speaking out your mouth as we had that scripture. But you know not the truth. You do not. That's blasting. 
Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Yahweh. Mm -hmm. Habakkuk. 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 Chapter 2. Habakkuk. Chapter 2. Habakkuk. Chapter 2. Habakkuk. Chapter 2. Let's read verse 4. Habakkuk. Chapter 2 and verse 4. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright Ooh. in him, but the just shall live by his faith. Ooh, that's deep. Behold, his natural which is lifted up is not to man in him, but the house of thee shall kind by his eminence, which is the faith to believe in his confidence. That's what it is. See, you can, you know, your own self. Lift up your own self. He letting you know it ain't no good. You ain't no good. But the Sadiq, the humble, that surrendered all, the 100, you, Shekiah by his emina, which is the dog of rain, the confidence. This is it. This is where your confidence comes from. The faith to believe what is written. Hallelujah. Yahweh. Obadiah. Obadiah, Obadiah chapter 1, Obadiah chapter 1, Obadiah chapter 1, let's read verse 18. So Obadiah chapter 1 and verse 18. And the house of Yaakov shall be a fire, and the house of Yahshua a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for Yahweh has spoken it. Hallelujah. And how by of Yaakov shall be a fire, and how by of Yasser a flame, and how by of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them, and they shall not be any remaining of the high by of Esau, for Yahweh has a mark. He talking to all y'all that do not have this confidence in him. But he talking, it's really some real deep spirits in this to this, but I'm breaking it down to, like I say, come down to a, a level of understanding what he wants people to know. You don't have the confidence of his dog rings, of the, what it was said. They would, you would be, it, it'll be a kindling fire against you, which would be, you, 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 chance of going to the lake of fire, and then you had men that would come to divide your confidence, you ain't confident, that devil gonna send them and sick them on you. Like a mad pit bull dog. Chew them up. He ain't got no confidence as it was like in the new. When them brothers were trying to cast out the demon, and, and, and they said, sure, I, I know, definitely know him. So, yeah, we know he gets down because he has his confidence in the word. But you bro, this is what it means. You just talking with your lips. You ain't putting nothing to practice. You ain't got no confidence. You stand, and they beat them down. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's what the devil will do for you. You don't have no confidence. Sure, you must be sure and, and, and sound in this. Unmovable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to keep on praying to Yahweh. I'm going to keep on praying to Yahweh. No matter what people say. No matter, no matter what, what people, people say. say. I'm going to keep on praying to Yahweh. I'm going to keep praying to Yahweh. No matter what people say. No matter what people say. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.